today's video is going to be a review of the uh, Remote Probocalypse. Uh, those are pretty new to the drugstore and they are liquid lipsticks that claim to be a 16 hour wear. Um, I have four shades right here um, and I'm going to show you swatches of them. Uh, but first I want to talk about the product. Um, they claim to be um, long wearing for 16 hours. They claim to be kiss proof, waterproof, transfer proof, all sorts of that. And they're supposed to not budge for 16 hours. Um, they retail for about $7 depending on, on uh, where you get them. But it's a pretty good price uh, for a liquid lipstick. There's a ton, like there's lots of hype right now for liquid lipsticks and I think also L'Oreal has some but they're they're 13 bucks I think I think for 13 bucks you can get a Sephora liquid lipstick so uh, but let's talk, let's talk about those ones so this is what the packaging looks like you have your color your lip um, your lip stain here I don't know how they call it uh, they call it a the intense color right here in this step one and then over here you have the lock and shine um i don't think this locks the product as much as it makes it smooth um if you don't apply this this will still get locked like they, it will still dry in your lips but the thing is um it's pretty liquidy right so when you apply it um it takes about a minute to fully dry and while it's drying it feels like it's super sticky it's sticky and it feels a little bit not comfortable on the lips and while you let it dry make sure it's an even application because after it dries and you realize it's not oh I need more color here and you reapply it looks different it doesn't look it's kind of hard to make it even after it dries so wait for it to dry for like a minute and you will feel the most uncomfortable when it's about to dry and that's when I apply this thing uh, because this is um, it's, just, it's just clear you're not gonna be able to see anything it feels like a clear it doesn't feel like a gloss it's like a like a lip balm it's it's just a lip balm it's really not a gloss or anything but it does give some shine to the product but this I like because it helps to it helps the product not to get kind of remove that take that stickiness and it makes it go smooth in and, and not even because it doesn't provide any color but it makes it smooth so it dries nicer and smooth and then when you do this your lips don't get you know don't do that effect that you get when you have like a pretty um sticky gloss or something sticky sticky product in your lips so i really like that for that and then it just helps the product to set into your lips in a nicer way than if you didn't have this but i don't personally like if i'm gonna get a liquid lipstick i want a matte finish that's that's my preference so this gives you a, a little bit of glossy finish they give it gives shine to your lips so i don't like that too much so I will leave this product for maybe 10 minutes or so and then I will just blot a little bit of it out so it doesn't look glossy anymore. Um, that's what I do but if you don't mind the shiny look then you can just keep this on. Um, I don't reapply this, I don't feel like I have to because again I like the matte look of the lips. Um, I have worn this to work and it does last i guess uh, between eight and ten hours uh but the last couple like the last couple of hours do don't it doesn't look the same i mean it doesn't look flawless or anything you start getting a little bit of wearing off like in the inside of your mouth it's not noticeable it's not something that will bother you like oh i don't have lipstick here uh, but it does last i have eight and have drink with this product um, it doesn't transfer to it doesn't transfer to anything um, the only tra thing you transfer is the glossy thing um, I think this product is awesome for um, 
people that don't like to be reapplying lipstick, obviously, but um, what I mean by that is that like I have to, I go to work and I take my time in the morning, I do my makeup and, but sometimes four hours into, into your work day, even at lunchtime, you don't think about reapplying anything because you have other things in your mind. So it's nice to be able to finish lunch and then maybe you have to go to a meeting or something, look at you, look at your lips and still see something there. Um, and don't have to be reapplying anything or be even worrying about, oh, do I have lipstick on? Um, this one I recommend a lot for every day. This is uh, the Make Your Move one. I think it's my favorite. And then I also have um, the, this pink one. It's called I'll Call You. And it is a very wearable light pink. It's not, I don't like light pink, like baby pink sort of lip with this one. It's pretty um, in the mauve side of pink. Um, so I really like it. And this one is even more mauve. This is like a purple mauve. This is Kiss Fatal and I really, really like this one um, also. But um, I mean, I will wear them all to work to be honest. But um, And then the last one, this is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is um, Heartbreaker. This is Heartbreaker and this looks red, but it is more like a maroon red. Um, so I think it's very wearable. It's not a bright red. It's not a um, a burgundy red. It's more like a maroon. So I really like it. I have them swatch right here in my hand. First one is uh, Make Your Move. Then this one is I'll Call You. This one here is Kiss Fatal and Heartbreaker. And I swatched them here about five minutes ago. And you can see that they will just not go. Um, you can see there is nothing on my fingers and I keep doing this and I'm making sure <laughs> there's nothing on my fingers. So it's pretty cool. This won't go, um, this won't wash out. Um, and yeah, it, that takes me to my last point. That is, how do you remove it? A makeup remover that um, works with uh, waterproof products, it will remove this like nobody's business. And if you don't have any waterproof, coconut oil tends to also remove it pretty well because coconut oil also gets rid of waterproof uh, mascara and things like that. But if not, you might have to exfoliate a lot. And even after you remove it with coconut oil or waterproof makeup remover, I do recommend exfoliating because this dries your lips. It doesn't dries your lips crazy like other products I have tried. I actually, at the end of the day, don't feel like my lips are cracked or, you know, disgusting. That disgusting feeling that your lips are super dry, but they do get dried up a little bit. So it is good to exfoliate at least a little bit, if not in the night, maybe in the next morning. So yeah, so let me know if, uh, oh, let me know if you have tried those products and if you have which shades would you recommend me buying? Because I don't want to buy the 10 of them. I know I'm not going to like them all. Um, so far I have like those four and I would, I would, you will see in the swatches how they look on my, uh, with my skin tone and all that and on my lips. Um, so let me know if you have any other shades that you will recommend me buying. And yeah, I think that it's it. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.